Hey guys, Mark Galloway here. Alright, so it's been about two months, one month. I don't know how long it's been since I've done my last cooking video. Um, my last cooking video, I don't know if they were too serious or whatnot, or I don't know. But anyways, um, this is a little bit more an advancing kind of like cooking video. So, in this video, we're going to be making a hamburger pie lasagna. So, basically, it's like a lasagna, like you put some stuff on the bottom and stuff in the middle and then on the top. But except this time we're using it out of hamburger meat, ricotta cheese, and and we also have some mozzarella cheese that we'll also be adding into it. Um, so anyways, um, what we have here is that we're going to be having water to boil the noodles. You, you can barely see it right there, the first pot right here. And this pot is for cooking the meat, putting all the tomato sauce, the mozzarella cheese and squares in, and the seasonings. So what I mean by putting in the, I mean you can put in liquid cheese, but we don't have that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put three or four, or I'm going to put four square square pieces of mozzarella in there, and and then we're going to melt it in, and then after we boil the noodles and drain out the water, we're going to put those in, add in tomato sauce, and then that's going to be ready. And then we're after we add in the first batch, first half, we're going to add in a ricotta cheese. And then, on the, and then we're going to add another layer of meat and noodles and then top it off with shredded mozzarella. You can also put in um, cheddar on the top, but um, we don't have any cheddar, so but mozzarella will do just the trick. So let's get cooking. Okay, so I added in some oil in there to create some heat. And so after we put in the meat in, we're going to just stir that around and then make sure it's going to be all cooked. And then actually after, actually after we pour out the noodles, we're gonna put the oven on onto 325 or three. We're actually gonna put it onto 350 degrees, and then like once we put the whole thing in the oven, we're gonna let it bake for about a half hour, and then it should be ready to eat. Okay, so it's steaming right here on top of the pot. So we're gonna. So I'm going to add in the meat, but I'm, I'm going to add. I'm going to squeeze it, and it's gonna come out in pieces. And then once it's all in, we're gonna stir it around, and then. And then just make sure it gets all brown. Well, actually, as it's cooking, we'll add in the ingredients. First, let's turn on the fan. Alright, so we're going to add in our three layers of American cheese, because it's going to melt in there, oh, melt in there, we want to get that all mixed in. So now our spices, is going to be in one big spoonful, so once that's in, that's going to be it, so we're going to add in some chopped onions. Some bits are gonna fall in. Add that in. Let's just shake it a little, just a little bit more. That seems to be enough. We'll add in a little more if necessary. And we're gonna also add in our our seasoning, I think this is a, um, well, dull, well, purpose seasoning, because I heard of, I think this is the lemon pepper, I believe. Let me just double check, I'll make sure I didn't make a mistake. Oh wait, I found it. Um, we'll just add in like a sprinkle of this. Okay, now our lemon pepper. There's different kinds of lemon pepper, but this is like one of the brands here. I'll just sprinkle that in there. This is enough. And 
we're gonna add in our chili powder. All right, found it, but it's the last of the bottle, so we'll just add in, add in nose. I think that's probably enough to also fill in the spoon. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna mix all that in. Got a little bit of myself. Now we're gonna wait until all that's brown, and but but as I said, even after it's all brown, we're still gonna let it sit in there because we need to add in our tomato sauce and the noodles. Let me just add a little bit more of the chopped onion. Like a, it's a little, a bit of a challenge to get all that in. And just one more little shake of lemon pepper. And then just mix all that in. And your water's not boiling yet, so it's gonna be a little bit of a while. Well, actually, no, I'll crank up the heat a little bit on it. This might not be enough to do the, well, I mean, it's, we have a little bit of, we have a little pan that's like medium size, so I think it, it should be barely enough. But like after I make sure the bottom is all filled, we'll bake, we'll add in ricotta cheese and hopefully we'll, there's enough of the top to go in there. All right, well, it's almost entirely brown. It's half of it is still not cooked, but it's just about done. You can add in ketchup or mustard on the side, but you don't. Have, but I mean, if you want to try, you can go ahead and pour it in. But I. But as part of the recipe, it's probably not. So there's cheese right here. All right. So now we're gonna wait till the water is entirely boiled. We're gonna put the noodles in. Okay. So I went ahead and added a little tiny brick of cheddar in there, and it's melting in there. We have our noodles cooking. So after we drain it out, as I said, we're turning the oven on, and then after the noodles are in, and then after the noodle, and then before we add in the noodles, we'll first add in our tomato sauce, and then we'll, we'll add in the noodles, and then mix that all up. Okay, we have the water draining out right now. The, water, the noodles are done, we, and the oven is also on. So now what we also, well, we forgot to add in some salt, so we're gonna put some salt right in here. The meat is just about browning up really good now. So what we're gonna do first though, is that we're gonna put in noodles a smaller, small amounts at a time, make sure it matches around the amount of meat that's in here. Because we really wanna make sure like it's all together and make sure like there's, we wanna make sure there's not too much meat when we add a little bit of noodles or not too much noodles. Let me just uh, let me just load the noodle real quick. I mean, sometimes it takes a little bit of amounts of water to get through, so we just stir it around and speed up the process just a little bit. So what we're gonna do? How we're gonna do it is actually we're gonna take some spoonfuls. Spoon number one. Ooh, got some on my hand. Okay. You just keep going until until we feel like it's too much and then we just mix it around. So we'll add in one more spoonful and then just mix it around, make sure it's enough. There is meat falling all over the place though. All right, now we just stir this all around. All right, I mean, it seems to be enough, but let's just add in a little bit more. It does look like there's a little bit too much more meat. We'll save the rest of the noodles for like a pasta or something. Use the spoon for 
I've been mixing around and got a little bit tired of using the spatula. So you can see this uh, formation in here uh, between meat and noodles. Okay. It does seem to be enough noodles. Maybe just one more a little bit. Boom. All right. Now that's all the noodles that we're going to add in, seeing that it now matches around the amount. So now what we're going to add in is our tomato sauce. Alright, we're also going to pour in the little bits of this at a time. Alright, maybe not little bits at a time, but we want to make sure we don't add too much. You can see it adding up a little bit. You want to make sure it's a good red color. Maybe we can add in a little bit of ketchup, but it is adding all that red and such in there. Alright, we're going to try adding in some ketchup, seeing how that's going to come out. We're not going to add in too much ketchup. I mean, although it's like the same thing as a tomato sauce, we just want to make sure it's a good reddish color. We'll turn off the heat just a little bit. And in just one more pour. And one more drop of the ketchup. Mix that in. Let's add in and we'll also add in a little bit more salt. And then just stir that up. The oven is also on. I think I might have said it. I don't know if I did. But the oven is on. It's almost 350. So after we let this simmer in a little bit more, we're going to pour it right in. Alright, so now the oven is ready. We have all the meat that's ready. Although it didn't look although it looks like it didn't come out very good, I think it I actually I, it looks like it did. But now we're going to add it in to the pan. We're gonna add in our first batch and then we'll add in some ricotta cheese. Here comes batch number one. Move that around. Add in, we might add in just a little bit more than that. And I want to make sure we can have enough for the top two. That seems to be enough for the bottom. Alright, now we add in ricotta cheese. It's like a whipped cream of sorts. We might add in a little bit of cream cheese. I mean, it's also optional if you want to add in cream cheese, but ricotta cheese is part of the recipe. Spread that around as best as you can.
All right, so I couldn't find any um, cottage cheese to add in. So what I did is that I took a, an extra piece of American and I'm and I put it over the some of the other meat that's exposed. So it should still be enough cheese to add in. So now let's add in the rest of this that goes on top. All right, yep, thankfully this is enough to cover the top. So now we put this, we're now gonna top off the, the rest with American cheese shredded. Hopefully it covers a lot, most of it. And then after that, it goes in the oven and finishes the job. If you think that this is mozzarella cheese, I'm now shredding. This is actually cheddar. And, oh, I didn't get the full trail on the camera, but that is the lasagna. So now we're gonna put it into the oven. And we're gonna wait till it's all cooked in and we it's time for dinner. And there it is, the hamburger pie. Well, there's a little bit of, I don't know if that's grease or whatnot, but I'm gonna get a paper towel to soak that down. Uh, okay, I just want to unbend those. So, and I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes, and then after that I'm going to try a piece, and then I'm just going to share it with my family. But it's my review, and I'll say if it's good or not. Okay, I got myself a piece, and I added some ketchup for the side. Let's have a... Let me add some ketchup to my piece. Let's have a case test. Alright. Cheers. Mmm. Ooh, it's hot. But it's delicious. Let me try and see if I can get some more meat in there. Okay, let's try a little more. This is really good. If you want to, you can add like noodle sheets or something because it's gonna be messy. But it's up to you if you want to. Anyways guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do all those. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching again. And this is Mark Galloway, signing out.